Today we have another Hometown Historian Channel production. Enjoy. channel and we are going back to Second Mountain Hawk Watch. So this is a really bad crappy road uh, but this takes you back to Tom's town and then we're gonna go up on the mountain over there which is Second Mountain uh, and see what we can see is a pretty cool vista and there used to be you could go down the other side of the mountain and that took you to the uh, Yellow Springs parking lot down in the uh, Stony Valley, which is on the other side. We were actually just over in Stony Valley doing uh, the finish up of a video that we were talking about gold and silver in Union Township here in Northern Lebanon County. And we went up to a uh, gold mine. So I figured let's go up to the Second Mountain uh, Hawk Watch. That might be a cool place to take you guys. Uh, just really cool vista at the very least. I doubt we'll see anything, but if we do, it makes it even better. Uh, but we'll see how this trip goes up through here because it is an interesting road. It depends on how it's maintained as well because Chuck doesn't need any injuries just like I don't need any injuries either. And for those of you who follow along, we are at Tomstown Road and Noonan's Lane, which runs down that way. It's sort of a pretty little lane, but this is Tomstown that we're coming up on here. Uh, familiar territory back out here in the Greenpoint area is one of those many towns. This one still exists, unlike St. Joseph Springs and some of the other neat towns that got taken out with the uh, Swatera State Park takeover. A neat log cabin coming up here on the right. But most of this is gap, gap land on either side. There's just a couple homes that exist out here still. I say cool log cabin there. A lot of this at some point will wind up getting closed off because. Once you get into fully into gap land, they're gonna have no access at some point. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work with the second mountain hawk watch and getting over into uh, Stony Valley, but that at some point probably will be bye-byes, but uh, never know. Cooler heads may prevail and say, hey, we're still gonna let people come out at least to that point and then close off at another point which unfortunately would sort of potentially close off St. Joseph Springs, but I'm not sure if they'll wind up doing that or not because they really don't have much of anything out here other than apparently the Range Operations Center because this is where they shoot the uh, live rounds in this general region. You hear the boom, boom, booms at the gap. This is the area where it happens. I believe we're coming up to McLean Road here now. We want to make a right here, turn right at top of the mountain for Second Mountain Hawk Watch. Now this is not the same as the Hawk Mountain Sanctuary that's up near Kempton, just to let you guys know. That's a really neat place. Uh, one of the subscribers, I can't think of her name off the top of my head, but she sent me two passes. And Cliff and I at some point will wind out going up there 
uh, to check that out because that's a really neat operation up there. This is just basically a road going up to the top of the mountain. Slightly terrifying for your vehicle because I got to look at it first. So this may wind up being a disappointing journey once we get up there, but hopefully not. But it is somewhere along here in this area, there is a peach orchard. Now this is an area you're not allowed to go back here at all because it's live ordinance area. But somewhere along here is where that community of Africa was. And back here as well is where that cemetery is, which sadly, like I said, you have no access to. Uh, there's also another weird story that they talk about potentially there being a cemetery at the top of Hawk Mountain on Second Mountain there somewhere. I've talked to a couple different people that have a lot of knowledge of that area and they said they've never heard of that. So I don't know if it's just one of those things where there's confusion or what it is, but because it was supposed to be another African American cemetery up there, which really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have a cemetery at the top of the mountain so far away because you know back then they didn't have motor vehicles or anything so it was a horse and cart that took you to the top of the mountain or whatever so i have no idea whether that's true or not i would assume not because the folks that i talked to like ralph watts has a lot of knowledge of that area and he's never heard of something like that so um it is what it is but it'd be neat to find out if there is any truth to that but who really knows I think at some point this road turns into gravel, if I'm correct, because it takes you up top there. That is Second Mountain that we're approaching. I have not been up here for. I yeah, I haven't been up here for a long, long time. This is the way up to the top of the mountain. And I have the gate open, so we are free to go up. So you can enjoy this terrifying journey. Will John and Chuck survive? I hope so, because I would like to survive. Cue the music. I will survive, woo, 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 or whatever that song is, but I'm sure it just made it all the more beautiful, of course, with my extraordinary angelic singing voice and my undeniable talent. It's actually it's not as bad as I remember because we're almost right at the top already. It's jiggly, jiggly, and bouncy, bouncy, but they must have really put down lot of stone or whatever to get this cleaned up a little bit because I know definitely going down the other side that okay that's a little more brutal <laughs> uh, that side going down there the last time I went I went down once with my GMC Sonoma truck and I think I went down with I believe my Jeep and that would have been at least five or six years ago um Tell me to have a gated off the actual mountain watch. Well, I guess we're not going to be doing that because they decided to gate that off for some reason. All right, well, I'm going to get out of the vehicle and I am going to uh, do a little bit of filming so you can at least see down over the mountains a little bit. But you used to be able to Hawk Mountain watch was out that way. Second Mountain Hawk watch. And that's where you could do your watching. And unfortunately, you can't. So unfortunately, the way down there was open. So you could actually have the Vesta looking down over to uh, Blue Mountains. You can actually see some of the gaps a little further out there. I believe that's probably the Swatera Gap there, which 81 runs through and the Swatera Creek. Um, but yeah. It's a shame because you can actually see like ridiculously far 
and they have closed that off, which is typical. We do that kind of stuff. Um, this is the very top, the tippy top is out that way, I believe, but, uh, and over there, that would be Sharp Mountain. And down where we're gonna try to go, if it's open, which I think it is, uh, we're gonna go down into the Stony Valley, down to the Yellow Springs parking lot, and just check that out. But this is Second Mountain. I think, unfortunately, what happened here is somebody just did not open up the gate. Because it does say road closed at dusk, no trespass passing. So that's what my guess is, that it probably ordinarily is open. It's just somebody did not open it. Probably, especially over winter, they don't do that because not a whole lot of people are stupid enough to come down here in the winter. So now here, we're going down into state game lands and we're going down into the Stony Valley. So you guys will get a pretty good look and I am going uber slow because this is slightly terrifying roads actually not bad I say that now and I'll probably regret that I said that but that is sharp mountain over there and down here is Stony Valley uh, we will be coming up on yellow the yellow springs parking lot I guess the yellow springs that old town is the closest thing to this parking lot but I know like uh, Bob talked about it a lot that this was uh, a favorite destination of the Boy Scouts when he was in them and uh, they used to do their hikes through uh, Stony Valley because it's just such a pretty area it has so much extraordinary history but I will continue to be showing you over through there and you can just see what a drop it is and just how cool this valley is And if you hear my screams, you know something bad's about to happen. You may even hear, oh, that was a bouncy one. Hear Chuck scream a little bit too, like, why did you do this to me, John? Bad decision. Huh. This is really pretty through here, though. Like I said, I haven't been here. It's probably at least five or six years. And the last time I came down, like, I think with the Jeep, it was a little bit better. I'm probably not remembering correctly, but uh, I do remember I came down here in my GMC Sonoma truck. And, wow, it was awful. I was so worried I wasn't going to be able to get back up through again because it was just, it looked like a bombed out road. It was, it was ridiculous. Uh, but they definitely have done a lot of work on this to correct that. There's some nice stones there. Reminiscent of uh, Boxcar Rocks. Which at some point I want to take you guys to that as well. I'll never be able to climb up on them again. Just because my balance is so bad. But I can definitely take you to where you can see that. It's also called the Chinese Wall. Because I guess reminiscent of the Great Wall of China. Now it's sedimentary rock and it's natural formation of rock. It's basically what was left after glaciers went away and uh, really unique geological formations and uh, neat place to visit. It is a cool place as much as I'm scared of heights. I did enjoy climbing up on those rocks but there are places if your balance is not good it's not a wise decision to go up there because people have fallen off of those rocks and people have died. Uh, there's places where it's a hundred foot drop easily. Uh, but magnificent views, it's just such a unique place to go. Beautiful place to go. The only thing that sucks is just like Dinosaur Rock, the idiots like to go out there and do their uh, painting. They go out there with spray paint and just spray paint all kinds of crap all over the rocks. Jenny loves Jimmy. Oh! Oof, man, that wasn't good. Well, like I said, Chuck's probably not going to be happy with me. I'll have to take a peeky at that when I go down in the parking lot because hopefully I didn't. This is the reason I thought it wasn't a good idea. But oh well. <laughs> uh, poor Chuck. And that one was disguised. I didn't even see that pothole. 
didn't realize it was so deep. I'm going slow, like five miles an hour slow. And that still was rough. But here's the parking lot uh, we're coming up on, which would be Yellow Springs parking lot. And you can go up through there. I don't even realize there's a bridge here. I didn't remember a lot of stuff back here. And let's watch for the other hick icky. Sheesh. Oh, wow. Okay. We're going to get out here just quick. Actually, I'm going to back up first because I know I'll probably get in the middle of a puddle or something. Hopefully, I don't beat the crap out of the bottom of my vehicle again because I don't want to do that again. But there's a really cool old wall here some kind of structure that had to do with yellow springs so let's get out all right so here we are some kind of foundation to some kind of building it looks like there's a dam over there in the creek as well uh, but this is yellow springs area so i'm sure it had something to do almost to a degree i don't know if this is a bridge of some sort but that that's pretty cool I said I haven't been down here for a long time. I don't remember a lot of stuff. And just you know, knowing that there's something of historical significance down here, be neat to know what the heck this was. If this was a road leading up to a bridge going across or what. But you can see there's some kind of cement structure there. And this thing leads right out. I have no idea. None whatsoever. It's cool the sound of water though, going over what used to be a dam. And there's some other structures underneath there as well. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe this was like part of a mill or something. It's a quandary. So just a quick note that I'm gonna make. This area is actually Cold Springs. I got Cold Springs and Yellow Springs uh, mixed up. When you go on the actual uh, Susquehanna or Schuylkill and Susquehanna Railroad uh, rail trail, the first village that you hit is uh, Roush Gap. Just north of that is uh, Gold Mine. And then it was uh, Eagles Mount, I believe, is the name of the other village. And that's sort of a little further north. But after Roush Gap, it's about two miles, a little over two miles, and you hit Cold Springs which was the resort, and these ruins that we just looked at is actually, uh, Ralph had confirmed that they are the Cold Springs Hotel or one of those buildings that had to do with that. With that. And then it's another two miles to, I believe, uh, Yellow Springs. And that was sort of, you had the Yellow Springs along sort of the trail and then up on the top of the mountain was uh, another big part of it where the tower is and some of the other unique features. And then there's another community, another three or four miles down the road or down that trail that's called Rattling Run, uh, which was another coal mining community. So I just wanted to clarify that. All right, we're starting up here again. I'm gonna go here to the left a little bit. Have no idea what that is, but there's some kind of dam that was there. But like I said, I, close to this thing it would be potentially a, uh, a mill of some sort. There's a creek going down through there. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember a lot of this. I don't remember the bridge or the ruins. I know Yellow Springs, when you go from the parking lot and you go on the trail over, it uh, there are ruins, uh, quite a bit of the houses, because back in this area in Stony Valley and I think it's between all of the different towns they said there was you know between Cold Springs Yellow Springs uh, Gold Mine and Roush Gap and even that Eagle uh, Eagle's Nest or whatever it's not Eagle's Nest that's Hitler but <laughs> it's Eagle something uh, Eagle Mound or something like that but uh I think they were saying 2,000 people, which is a substantial group of people, especially back at that time period. That is a lot of people in the 1800s in an area. So these were not unsubstantial 
towns these were pretty impressive so this here is stony valley and that's the trail that if you go there's another creek over there that uh that takes you over to uh yellow springs and it's just sort of there's there's on either side of the trail there's these stone foundations for these homes which i would assume were probably all like wood structures of some sort but that's the trail that leads up through uh really cool but uh anyways we're gonna turn around and hopefully i wind up surviving if this video never makes it out on the channel well there's a bear somewhere enjoying my tasty flesh bear or sasquatch or goblin or something but anyways this is stony valley and i want to thank you guys for coming along and checking this out with me i did check out chuck he's all right but that one hit Woo. oh hopefully i don't get that one on the back back way but anyways thanks for coming along and as always we'll see you all about town